Can you believe it's been over 50 years since Voyager 1 embarked on its epic journey through the cosmos? It's given us some jaw-dropping insights, like that famous pale blue dot picture of Earth. But now, brace yourselves for this mind-blowing news. Voyager 1, with a stamp of approval from the legendary Neil deGrasse Tyson, has spotted not 10, not 100, but a whopping 500 unknown objects cruising through our solar system. These mysterious space travelers might just rewrite the rulebook on space exploration as we know it. So let's dive into Voyager's latest message, unravel the cosmic mysteries, and see how these newfound discoveries are reshaping our view of the universe. Get ready to be blown away by the incredible journey of Voyager 1. This space explorer kicked off its adventure way back in 1977. And guess what? Its electronic systems are over 45 years old and still going strong. How? Well, Voyager 1 has dual redundant computer systems, like having two sets of backup plans for a road trip, ensuring it can keep trucking through the cosmos. But here's the amazing part. To save power, engineers play a cosmic version of turn it off when you're not using it. They deactivate non-essential components, like turning off the heat for some scientific instruments, making sure Voyager 1 doesn't go into hibernation mode. It's like trying to keep your smartphone alive with a dying battery, but in space. Now, as Voyager 1 and its buddy Voyager 2 venture deeper into space, they face challenges like managing fuel for thrusters and dealing with freezing temperatures. Imagine your car's gas tank gradually depleting, but you still need it to steer the ship. In 2017, Voyager 1 even had to activate secondary thrusters after 37 years of inactivity, like finding a secret stash of turbo boost in your old car. These space probes are like our cosmic trailblazers, and they're still going strong, thanks to ingenious engineering and power-saving tactics. Imagine this, Voyager 1, a mission originally planned for just five years, is still cruising deep into the cosmos, thanks to the relentless efforts of scientists and engineers. But folks, space is a wild, unpredictable place. And guess what? Our trusty Voyager 1 recently stumbled upon a hopping 500 unidentified objects entering our solar system. Now that's what I call an interstellar surprise. You see, deep space can throw some curveballs. Despite this anomaly causing a minor communication hiccup, Voyager 1 kept taking our commands like a champ. What's astonishing is that these strange objects didn't set off any alarms, unlike a typical sci-fi movie. The mystery deepened. After some hardcore detective work, it turned out the culprit was an outdated control system, causing data corruption. So, were there really 500 objects out there? The answer was just a bit delayed because of the immense space gap between us and Voyager 1. Solving the puzzle meant rerouting data and some nerve-wracking waiting, given the spacecraft's 14.6 billion mile journey from Earth. Patience, planning, and careful commands became the name of the game, unveiling space's secrets and expanding our cosmic knowledge, one message at a time. It's a cosmic chat that's out of this world. When Voyager 1 sends its data from the deep reaches of our solar system, NASA's Deep Space Network, DSN, plays a vital role. Think of the DSN as a global team of high-tech communicators. They use colossal radio antennas strategically placed around the world to chat with our spacecraft out there, exploring the cosmic wonders. What's really cool is that DSN isn't just NASA. It's an international party. They team up with space agencies from all over, like the Soviet, Chinese, Indian, and Japanese deep space networks, plus the European Space Agency. Together, they're like the Avengers of space exploration, joining forces to uncover the universe's secrets. Now, picture this. DSN has three awesome bases worldwide, one in Goldstone, California, one in Madrid, Spain, and another in CRA, Australia. These places are like the DJs of cosmic connections, making sure we're always in tune with our space probes. But here's the catch. Even though we're using the speed of light to communicate, it still takes a hopping 22 hours 
for signals to travel between Earth and Voyager 1. Imagine sending a text message and waiting nearly a whole day for a response. Patience is key, my friends. This delay makes troubleshooting Voyager's quirks a bit like detective work, and the team has to carefully plan and craft commands. Unlike missions, closer to home, where you can chat almost in real time, interstellar distances give you a serious lag in conversation. But hey, that doesn't stop us from exploring the cosmic mysteries. The DSN team once had to deal with an anomaly on Voyager 1, and despite the distance, they managed to fix the issue by shutting down the problem computer on board. So, they're like the IT superheroes of the cosmos. But hold on, the real head-scratcher here is why our trusty spacecraft's Altitude and Articulation Control System, AACS for short, suddenly decided to send its telemetry data to the wrong computer. It's a real cosmic conundrum. So, what's the deal behind this cosmic computer hiccup? Well, the space sleuths suspect that AACS might have received a wonky command from another computer on board. But here's the kicker we're still in the dark about what caused this anomaly. The cosmic detectives are on the case, but no definitive answers just yet. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all. You see, when Voyager 1 is out there on its journey through the galactic playground, it encounters all sorts of wild stuff. We're talking cosmic radiation, extreme temperature swings, and the potential for tiny space pebbles to rain on its parade. Cosmic radiation is like a wild dance of high-energy particles from far-off stars and celestial hotspots. They fill up the cosmic void between galaxies, and some of them can crash the Voyager's party. These particles, like protons and cosmic rays, can slip through the cracks of our spacecraft's walls and stir up trouble. They might mess with our electronic gadgets, causing all sorts of chaos, from data distortions to memory hiccups. In this cosmic game, it's no wonder our dear Voyager's computers might get a little confused. But wait, there's more. Voyager one's no stranger to extreme temperatures. Out there in the frigid vacuum of space, it can get as chilly as minus 128 degrees Celsius or minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit. Those crazy temperature swings can mess with the electronics, making them act all sorts of wonky. It's like trying to play your favorite video game in the middle of a snowstorm. Things get glitchy. And here's the real kicker. Micrometeoroids. These are like tiny space bullets, remnants from comets and asteroids, zooming around at crazy speeds. Even though they're small, they pack a punch. A collision with one of these can mess up a delicate electronic component in Voyager's system, causing interference and all sorts of trouble. So. Voyager 1, our interstellar explorer, recently stumbled upon something that's got the entire scientific community buzzing. Forget technical glitches for a moment, because we're diving into the realm of aliens. Yep, you heard that right. Imagine this. There's a possibility that some super-duper advanced extraterrestrial civilization, light years ahead of us, may have crossed paths with our trusty Voyager. You see, Voyagers out there in the cosmic boonies, way far from home, doing its thing, collecting data, and maybe, just maybe, it entered a zone inhabited by some beings we can't even detect. Not your usual malfunction scenario, right? It's like a cosmic takeover. What we initially thought was just a hiccup in the system might actually be the universe's way of saying, hey, check this out, Earthlings. But here's the kicker. How do we prove this mind-blowing possibility? It's like trying to solve a puzzle in the vast, endless space with our current tech and science. It's a real brain teaser. Isn't Voyager 1 just mind-blowing? This incredible spacecraft uses NASA's Deep Space Network to chat with us here on Earth. Picture this. Massive 37-meter antennas, the size of a giant truck, helping Voyager 1 send and receive messages. We're talking super high-tech stuff, like data being zapped through the cosmos at 2.3 GHz and 8.4 GHz. Now, Voyager 1's got a digital tape recorder to store 67 megabytes of mind-boggling data, which scientists analyze when the connection is back. 
And guess what? It may hold secrets about, you won't believe it, potential contact with aliens. But that's not all. Voyager 1's got some fancy gadgets like the Cosmic Ray Subsystem and the Photopolarometer that help us understand space dust and cosmic rays. Imagine that. Plus, it discovered cool things like volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io. And Voyager 2, the space buddy, taught us about the termination shock. So, folks, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more space discoveries because Voyager 1 might just have stumbled upon something out of this world, literally.